Hi, this is Brian from 360 Immersive. This is Jim and Preston with Black Box VR. Usually we're talking about training of a little bit different type, but today we're going to talk about a really exciting, fun way to train. So can you talk a little bit about how you guys use VR? You bet. Um, you know, Black Box VR has been around for uh, almost three years and was founded by Ryan DeLuca and, and Preston Lewis right here. <laughs> and what we're doing using VR is we're combining it with a custom built cable resistance machine and we're gamifying fitness and including the immersive capability of VR so that we can give people an awesome workout. Awesome. Okay, so would you like to show us around a little bit and kind of give us the inside view of back here? Sure. Yeah. Uh, and this is our beta gym facility here in Boise, Idaho. Uh, Preston is going to take us back over here into uh, one of the, the workout booths and he's going to explain a little bit of the magic behind the process. Let's do it. So we're just touring the box. All right, so come on in. So this is the 10 by 10. Stand closer. This is the 10 by 10 uh, black box booth here. Um, so basically, uh, our gym that we're opening in San Francisco in March uh, this year. Uh, we are basically going to have 14 of these boxes, and in every box we have this machine right here, which we call the dynamic resistance machine. Um, and as Jim mentioned, this will basically adapt to your strength and performance in, in the workout, and also all of that data plays with the game. So you can kind of see on the screen here where the game gameplay comes through. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm already suited up, so I have my, my uh, arm trackers here. So this allows me to see my, my hands in virtual reality. And then I'm going to put the headset on, and uh, you guys will be able to see what I'm seeing, and I'll take you through kind of just a demo workout. Is the camera on? Awesome. Or I mean, is the mic you think I'm talking about? I think we'll be good. All right. All right, you might want to, yeah, let's, 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 let's. all right, let's, let's check it out. So you can see, should be able to see here. So this is calibrating my height. So I'm going to stand tall. Look here, this is going to calculate the, how tall I am. Now I'm basically transported to the black box universe. You can kind of see my little locker room chill pad here. Um, this is going to be gamified in the future where you unlock upgrades. Down there I can see the arena I'm about to compete in. And now I've just warped down. So you can see you can see on the screen over there that I can actually see my hands in virtual reality as they move. Um, they move in real time in the game. Countdown started. And I look up the scoreboard, it looks like I'm going against Carl Clark, who's a level 12. And in a second, you'll see my crystal spawn. So right down there on the field, you can see the crystal, and that's what I'm trying to protect. So I have my, my gates that are 100%, I got my crystal down there. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my actual strength to defend my base. So I'm going to go ahead and feel the guy out there. So this is a, a ranged unit, put it in here. I'm going to do some punch patterns, chop patterns. So the idea of this here is to keep my heart rate elevated um, because part of the workout routine is high intensity interval training, um, which is better for keeping your lean muscle mass and, and burning more fat. So you can see I just launched him on the field. I got my archer. He's already taken down the gate 82%. I'm going to go after him a little bit harder here with a, let's do chest press. So this is my chest press fireball. I'm going to put it in the machine. My hands are getting a little funky, but I'm going to put the little thing to block your reflections. And you can see over here on the table, I have heavy, medium, and light, so I can push the different buttons, um, and it's all calibrated to my personal strength. So I can see that the chest press is on, I'm going to hit activate, I can see a screen of the person showing me how to do the exercise movement, so I know that I need to put my back on the pad, grab the handle. Grab this handle, get in position, and you can see these orbs, and now I'm gonna go out and pop. And every time I pop, it's gonna shoot this laser beam. So I'm gonna target by glancing left, and now I'm just gonna go for it. Crap, I put it on heavy. Explain to him the uh, base damage. <laughs> uh, in terms of like the direct attacks versus indirect attacks? Just the uh, more reps I do, the more strength it does. Sure. Uh, <sighs> what we're doing is we're uh, we're calculating uh, on the back end your one oh. uh, max. 
after every single set. So we're delivering you the right appropriate amount of weight that you're supposed to be uh, uh, getting in, in every single set so that you're progressing um, how much um, weight that you're pushing and therefore you're getting better muscle recruitment. Trying to keep you in 12 to 15 reps, uh, gets you to about 80% of exhaustion. Um, and um, every single time that you go in, um, we're making sure that on the back end, we're updating your profile so that you're always getting the right weight as you're, as you're working out. Okay. So uh, there's a little bit of weight ramping when you begin a set because we don't want to hit you with like a super you know, huge amount of weight right up front, especially like while you're in VR. So we start you at about 80% and then we move you up to 100% for the balance of your set. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to quit the game because I don't want to like ruin my score here. <laughs> but uh, basically, I didn't mean to put it on heavy. Uh, but you can see for me, um, if I were to do, like Jim mentioned, you know, 15 plus reps, um, based on exercise science, that's where I'm going to get the, the hypertrophy or the lean muscle mass gain. And so if I break out of that and do 16, 17, 18 reps, I'm doing no more damage in the game. But also the next time I come in, I'm going to see, you know, chest press fireball leveled up from level one to level two or level two to three by or etc and i don't even have to think about it so i just go in and basically set it and forget it which is the nice thing about this the uh, artificial intelligence will automatically progress you um, i only did chest press just now but um i don't know if you noticed but that whole virtual table uh -huh. there had six different exercises awesome okay so so there's more variety that yes you get a absolutely. full body workout every absolutely. session okay yeah exactly so it's and it's all compound movements. Mm -hmm. So one of the other things is we want to give people the most efficient workout possible. So 30 minute workout, um, like I mentioned at the beginning, the, the HIIT training, because I mean, right now my heart's already <laughs> off in <laughs> one set. So, um, it's in the I would be dead range. Yes. Yeah. That part. <laughs> but the good thing is it matches you. So if you right. came in day one, mm -hmm. you're going to be, you know, your weights are going to be where you should be at. Mm -hmm. And then it just slowly progresses you. These uh, inside of here, we have Eight to fifteen pounds. Boom! Exactly. Mm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and uh, hey, well, the cool thing is, is like in the gym, you have, you know, maybe five pound mm -hmm. increments, maybe yes. sometimes two point five mm -hmm. pound increments. So it's a little bit harder to kind of see your progress, right? Because you have to take these like bigger Those jumps. Those bigger so, integral. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this actually has the ability to change the weight on a point zero one pound fidelity. Oh wow! So okay. What that means is, number one, it's going to be able to to progress you exactly mm -hmm. as you, you need to be progressed. But number two, as Jim mentioned with the gamification piece of it, which is like the strongest piece of what we're Absolutely. doing, yeah. is um, it shortens those feedback loops. Right. So, so in the gym where you, you're not gonna get the feedback, you're like, I think I'm stronger. Uh, Until I'm you've done that million minute mile on a treadmill exactly, yeah you haven't made yeah. any progress until you've hit that this set point absolutely so, yeah, yeah so with this so we can do for just a, a wide variety of people from different you know advanced beginner to advanced mm -hmm. this thing can go up to 110 pounds per handle so um i mean it's you saw like so you could be like beefcake yeah, I mean, yeah you, you could, could be yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> but also the great thing about it too with the gamification is you know, when you're in the, when you're in the yeah. experience you know we're removing any kind of you know we're not telling you what weight you're getting um, right you know mm -hmm. the, we're taking that out of the equation you never have to rack a plate you never have to put a pin in a mm -hmm. stack um, mm -hmm. everything is super efficient so even at a half an hour workout there's still 15 minutes that you might have in a regular gym because you're either waiting to get on a bench press yeah. or you're waiting for a machine to free mm -hmm. up or something like that or you get caught talking to your friend. Or feeling or disappointed because you didn't go up five pounds. Yeah, exactly. Right, yeah. Yeah. Well, right. And, and, and instead, we're replacing it with a sense of competition. Right. You know, so, so it sounds to me like yep. winning the game is optimized to improving your performance. Does that sound like a good way yeah. to... Okay, yep, perfect. That's, that's basically, mm -hmm. we've, we've used... And I want to like emphasize the exercise science piece because yeah. a lot of people, when they first see something like this, especially when they don't actually see it on the screen or see someone actually using the machine, they think, um, oh, cool, like I've done virtual reality fitness. I've yeah. played Wii tennis. Yes, that's what like I that. was thinking. It reminded me kind of of Wii where, yeah. Which, yeah. Is, mm -hmm. which is like this much of it, you know, maybe Fun. your heart rate gets elevated. Yeah. To, You'd have to try pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, you have to be going at it, right? And then, You'd have to be one heck of a bowler. Yeah, yeah. And, and all the new exercise science coming out um, is about resistance training for yeah, men and women, mm -hmm. right? So it's better for um, specifically bone density. Mm -hmm. So for, for women, like with, mm -hmm. even getting into, you know, as you get older, the fighting mm -hmm. osteoporosis, um, heart health, mm -hmm. 
you know, just brain function and mm -hmm. cognitive function in, in general. Yeah, even um, delaying onset of Alzheimer's and a variety and, of... Mm -hmm. depression, all these, mm -hmm. all these really cool yep. studies paired with resistance mm -hmm. training specifically. And so that's, mm -hmm. that's the thing is like we built this whole routine to still have kind of the fun gamification mm -hmm. piece, but, but what you're doing without even thinking about it, yeah. uh -huh. all the little levers we're pulling mm -hmm. in the game are still backed by exercise right. science. Right. So you get the most efficient workout that's going to build lean muscle mass and help you lose fat. It sounds like you're engaged and you're rewarded, you know, mm -hmm. at the same time. It, um, and that drives yeah. to actually one of the biggest yes. missions of the company, which is to solve the issue of adherence to a fitness program. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, within yes. you know two months of a fitness program, most you know uh -huh. over ninety percent of people have dropped out. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. By Blue Monday, right? That's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so part of it is is that like you know we you know this is when you're in here you don't feel like you're at the gym. Right. Um, you know, you might have a passion for video games, or you might just think that the gym is really boring. Right. Um, any yes. way you slice it, non-engaging or almost engaging. punitive uh, environment. We mm -hmm. have a companion app that goes along with the experience, where you're able to open up loot boxes and get different prizes mm -hmm. and awards, and you can check your performance stats there if you want to, but you can also engage with the community. Right. Uh, and it's all these things are designed in a way to help drive you back into the experience to continue getting fit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely yeah. Well, fantastic, guys. Thank you so much for giving us an inside look of how this works and how it ties in with exercise science and yeah, having absolutely. fun, which if you can combine making yourself better and having fun doing it, that's incredible technology. What an amazing way to use immersive technology. Mm -hmm. so, all right. Well, that has thank been um, our little shot today so thank you very much for visiting us and thank you jim and preston um yeah if you want to follow us uh just visit www.blackbox-vr.com and uh you can check out some of the exciting updates we're doing we're opening up our flagship gym in san francisco on march 11th um it's really exciting uh, we're, we're using the momentum we got from winning the best startup at ces last year trying to carry that through um Really exciting location too, right across the street from Twitter, uh, oh, Uber wow. headquarters. So it's right there on Market yeah. Street. Really exciting. So, so check us out. Follow us on social media. We'd love to talk to you. Jim Preston, thank you so much for walking us through this awesome experience and helping us to understand better what it is that you guys do and what you're doing for other people. Got so it. this is Brian with 360 Immersive. Um, check in with us next time to learn more about how immersive technology is going to change the world. <laughs>